the sunrise. Good morning to you on this Wednesday, August 10th. Thanks for joining us for Wave News Sunrise. I'm Shannon Cogan. Big day for kids in Wave Country. Back to school. Our team is spread out, bringing you everything you need to know. You see Josh Ninky right there. He's live from the Nichols Bus Compound, where drivers are gearing up for the big day ahead. And then Olivia Russell is in Bullitt County, where we'd be checking in live with her. But first, let's get to meteorologist Juana Andrew and Kathleen Ninky, getting you out the door with weather and traffic. It's a quiet day, Kathleen. And and let's hope it stays that. That way, both weather wise and on the road. Exactly, but for the weather later on today, it might get a little bit iffy. So, parents, just a heads up for that ride home. It's not just the buses you're going to have to contend with, but the rain coming our way as well. But for this morning, things are quiet and we're going to knock on the green screen. <laughs> things stay that way. A flood watch is in place for those of you further to the east of 65. Still, this has been extended to last until midnight tonight because of more of that rain coming our way all because of that system that is sitting over us at the moment. So we'll continue to keep an eye on it. For the moment right now, we are seeing just some clouds overhead, and that is it for this first day of school, for the ride in. We're going to be talking about some clouds overhead, and there is that potential for an isolated downpour. But remember, most of us will stay dry. Towards lunch, that is when we can see some of those isolated downpours trying to pop across the region. More of those thunderstorms, so teachers keep that in mind. Maybe if the kids have outside time today, you maybe want to double check the radar before you head out. And for the ride home, that is when we'll see some more of those showers and thunderstorms coming our way. So parents maybe just have the rain gear in their backpacks for this morning. That will be a pretty good idea, but Kathleen, at least for this morning, the weather is cooperating. That is wonderful news, and at this point, though we are hours away from those start times, the traffic is cooperating as well. We're going to be looking at the metro for JCPS, but also Bullitt County and beyond for anybody who's going back to school today. Just checking in on some of our traffic cameras, and so far you barely see any headlights out there, but you certainly don't see any backup of headlights at this point, which is what we want. Want. Again, we'll be tracking this all the way through your start times for school today. Looking at Indiana again, roads looking clear, specifically at the metro. In the metro, uh, we're we're looking pretty clear as well. So this is everything we're monitoring. Shannon, we we want to make sure everybody gets to this first day safely. Absolutely. All right, Kathleen and Tawana, thank you. And so today's a big day. Kids go back to school at JCPS in just a few hours. Wave News reporter Josh Ninky is joining us live this morning. He is at the the Nichols bus compound. I'm sure there's lots of action there this morning. That's exactly right, Shannon. Got buses all over the place. Bus drivers getting ready to get started here for their first routes for JCPS. I want to bring in uh, Mark Hebert uh, here with the district to tell us a little bit more about the preparations that have gone in today. Uh, uh, so first off, how are things looking for today? Everything ready to go smooth? I think we're ready to go. It's first day of school. You remember your first day of school, Josh, don't you? I remember my first day of high school anyways. But yeah. uh, yes, the teachers have been preparing uh, for the last several days, getting their classrooms ready for their students. Uh, the bus drivers have been practicing their routes. Uh, so they're, I think we're all ready for first day of school at JCPS. Uh, we were just talking about uh, enrollment uh, for JCPS. How, where do things stand here for this year so far? It's about the same as it's, as it's always been. We have about 95,000 students in JCPS, one of the largest districts in the country. And uh, we also, uh, uh, something with, with the bus depot that we've got going on right here, uh, there's a new bus delay tracker that you guys have. Uh, tell me a bit about how that works and what parents at home need to know for today. Well, we put a new bus tracker app on our webpage that allows parents to know if their school bus driver, if, if their school bus doesn't have a driver. And so some of these buses, we're going to have to have double routes because we've got a shortage of bus drivers, as everybody has heard. So you can go on the webpage and look and see a bus number, what school it goes to, and about how late they're going to be. So parents will know beforehand, before they put their kid on the bus this morning, uh, exactly how late that bus might be. And if their kid has one of those buses, it's going to have to make those double runs. And there's also the, the bus finder uh, part. So the, the, a lot well, of buses. Hopefully, hopefully parents have found the bus finder already. They know what, what bus their kid's getting on and where the nearest bus stop is. But again, that's another thing on our webpage that uh, you can go on our webpage and uh, type in your address and what school your kid goes to, and you'll find out exactly what bus number they should ride and where the nearest bus stop is. And just a reminder for parents at home, 
what is that website to go to? It's JCPS's main website, and you can go on there and just look at the back to school web page, and it's got all that information about uh, buses and nutrition, lunches, all that stuff is on there. So the back to school web page on the main JCPS web page. Wonderful, Mark. Thank you so very much. All right, thanks, Jeff. Uh, good to see you this morning, bright good, and early. Good to see you too. Glad to be here. Glad <laughs> to be your first day. <laughs> Happy first day, exactly. Uh, send things back to you, Shannon. All right, Josh, thank you so much. And a school that was shut down earlier this year will be where some JCPS students will begin the school year. The district had to reopen Watson Lane Elementary School until Wilkerson passes inspection. Teachers have spent the past week getting the classrooms ready at Watson Lane. They'll be teaching nearly 560 students, some coming from the old Wilkerson Elementary School. Despite concerns about quality air conditioning and the kitchen, the principal says the school passed its inspection and they are now ready to welcome students. We have done a cleaning of the building. We have re uh, received um, new shades for some of our classrooms. We have new furniture that's been brought in from Surplus, which has been wonderful. The district has basically said, what do you need? And we will get it done. And they got it done. Construction on the new Wilkerson Elementary School is expected to be completed in a few weeks. It is one of three new schools under construction. Kids in Bullock County also going back to school this morning. Wave News reporter Olivia Russell joining us live. She is outside North Bullet High School. And what time do the doors open there? Well, Shannon, something they're doing different at the high school this year. Normally it would open at 6.50, but now they're kind of avoid some of the waiting around. So it'll be 6.55. We have less than two hours now before kids get here. So it's kind of the calm before the storm, not a car in the parking lot at all. But something funny is we were pulling up. We see the sign. It says, Welcome to the Class of 2026. And my photographer and I looked at each other and thought, that's not right. There's no way. But that is right. This year's freshmen are the Class of 2026. Six, so that if they're so excited to welcome them in. They already have all the cones set up and the signs letting them know where those car riders are going to be dropped off and loaded up when they're done with school for the day. So, so much excitement. We'll keep you updated here throughout the morning. But for now, reporting live in Bullitt County, Olivia Russell, Wave News. Olivia, thanks. So from Bullitt County, let's go down the road in Elizabethtown, Hardin County Public Schools. Also welcoming students back this morning. Right now, masks are not required to be worn. So it's really just about looking at our health system and where we are currently, and we feel very confident that we're making the best decisions for our students. If the mask policy changes, we'll of course pass that information along, but for right now, the superintendent says it is a decision that is up to the parents to decide. Middle and high school students in Oldham County Public Schools will have a little more time to sleep in this morning. That is because the district pushed back the start and end times by 15 minutes. The change is an effort to reduce the number of late buses due to the shortage of bus drivers. School will begin at 9 and dismiss at 4. Buckner Alternative High School's hours will be 8.45 to 3.25. The doors will open at 8.15 this morning. The new school year begins with an optional mask policy for students, staff, and visitors. Shelby County Public Schools have the same policy in place, but the district says masks will be available if anyone wants them in the nurse's office. And parents should know students are not allowed to ride a different bus home with friends or other family members. Simmons College set to make a big announcement today. We know it's about new additions to the athletic program. It comes following major investments into the college last year. Former NBA player and athletic director Jerry Eves will be making that announcement alongside former players and community leaders this morning at 10. We'll, of course, be there and let you know what that announcement is. And here's Tawana looking ahead to your next 12 hours. Yeah, the next 12 does feature some rain in the forecast. So here's what we're looking at for today. We're going to be seeing more of those temperatures climbing all the way into the upper 70s and low 80s, depending on how much of that rain that you get for today and more of those showers and thunderstorms show up for later on this afternoon as well. So it's that ride home for so many students that will feature the rain in the forecast. I'll break down what we're going to be looking at as we head into the second half of the day after the break. All right, the family of a Kentucky toddler missing for months gathered to remember her on her birthday. Hear from loved ones of Serenity McKinney working to honor her memory. For the most accurate morning forecast, you put your trust in Tawana, tracking every storm so you're always prepared. Trust Tawana on Wave News Sunrise.
When cleaning your air ducts, it's important to clean the entire system. An air duct cleaning from Stanley Steamer removes pounds of trapped dirt, dust, and allergens from your home completely. Call today for a free inspection. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. You don't want the headache of a broken garage door. Have Absolute Services check your garage door opener and get a no breakdown guarantee. We also offer repairs, design, and brand new garage doors. Call now for same day service. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus Hybrid. With cool to touch covers, body hugging memory foams, and motion reducing coils, you'll sleep cooler and more comfortably all night long. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. It's Kino Night, and you got this. And you've got 37 ways to win a top prize of $100,000. Kino, from the Kentucky Lottery, you got this. Powered by our team of skilled technicians and specialized fleet of cleaning vans, Stanley Steamer has been delivering cleaner, healthier homes to Louisville since 1986. Schedule a cleaning today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. There's a lot to get up to in the mornings. And you need a team up with you. Up to helping you plan for the rain and the shine. We've got witness video. Breaking the news that's happening now. Seeing your eyes and ears around your neighborhood. If it's happening now, it's happening here. It's morning news that's keeping up with you. Sunrise with Shannon, Tawana, Kathleen, Josh, and Olivia. Getting you up to the minute, the minute you're up. Weekday mornings on Wave News Sunrise. Whether you're hitting the trail with your family, your best friend, or your dirt bike, Ford vehicles help you get more out of your summer. And during our summer sales event, your local Ford dealer can help you get more for your money. For a limited time, you can lock in low 2.9% financing for 60 months when you pre-order select 2023 model Fords. More fun, more adventure, more savings. To lock in 2.9 for 60, hit the trail to your nearest local Ford store now, where there's always more in store. This newscast is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. There's only one. This is Wave News Sunrise. It is now 5-12. LMPD says a 16-year-old was arrested following a double shooting Friday night in the Shawnee area. It happened around 8-15 in the 3400 block of West Broadway at Long John Silver's. We're told the teen was involved in an argument with one of the victims outside pulled a gun, and started shooting. Both were shot but did not have life-threatening injuries. The teen now facing several charges, including attempted murder. If she were alive, Serenity McKinney would have been five years old, but instead her family spent her birthday thanking people who helped them search for the missing child. They gathered at a Shelbyville playground to share stories, pictures, and pinwheels. The items symbolizing a way to remember Serenity, who they described as smart, fun, and loving. When the wind blows, it goes in a circle. So every time it blows, it's just a reminder that her memory will keep going. And she will live on through all of us. Serenity was missing for a year. Her remains found in February near the Bullitt Jefferson County line. It took nearly six more months for two DNA tests to positively identify her remains. Private funeral services will be held soon now that her remains have been released. And her mother and her mother's boyfriend were arrested and charged with Serenity's murder. They're both expected in court in October. One of the officers at the center of the federal investigation in the death of Breonna Taylor has resigned. We told you last week, Chief Erica Shield said she started the termination process for Kelly Goodlett and Sergeant Kyle Meany. They were two of the four charged by the Department of Justice last week in connection to Taylor's shooting death. LMPD says Goodlett submitted her resignation Friday and is no longer a part of the department. The termination process with Sergeant Meany continues. He has one day to try to submit an appeal. Here's meteorologist Tawana Andrew. First day back to school for a lot of kids. I know everyone's getting up excited, maybe putting on that new outfit they oh, picked out. Oh, man, that new outfit was the key to everything. Totally. <laughs> this is the first day of 
school. We completely get it. And thankfully, the weather today should be kind, at least for the way in, to your new outfit and the newly done hair. I know a lot of people worried about the hair as well this morning. We have this stationary front sitting over our region, and this is going to be the key to today's rain chances. Keep in mind right now, things are quiet. We just have some clouds overhead, and that is it. But remember, we have the flood watch in place for those of you further to the east of 65 from Carroll County down towards Adair County, lasting until midnight tonight. While I cannot rule out a stray shower for this morning, most of us will be dry to kick off your Wednesday. Getting towards noon today, that is when we'll start to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms coming into the forecast. More of those showers and thunderstorms are expected through the afternoon into the evening hours. So we're talking for that ride home, a lot of kids may have to contend with that heavy rain coming down, a lot of lightning with some of those thunderstorms. As we approach 9, 10 o'clock, the showers and thunderstorms should start to push further to the south. Keep in mind, remember for today, because of where that front is set up right along the Ohio River, those of you in Kentucky do have a better chance to see the rain compared to our Indiana counties. We'll continue to keep things on the drier side once we head into tomorrow morning. Now, some of you may not see a drop of rain, especially for those of you further to the north. However, across Kentucky, we could see rainfall totals ranging from a quarter of an inch to one to two inches. It really will depend on where the heaviest rain sets up shop, and how slow some of these thunderstorms are going to be moving. For your Thursday, a secondary front moves through, and what this is going to do is kick that first front out of here and bring in cooler weather as we round out the week. So for your Friday, we're talking about temperatures into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs. Many of you fall down into the 50s. Yes, 50s by Saturday morning. And while Saturday is looking beautiful, something we'll have to watch for Sunday, the potential for some rain coming into our forecast. A lot of models are now agreeing on that rain chance as we get into Sunday. So that's something we're going to be watching very closely for the end of the weekend. A few more rounds of rain possible on Monday. But for most of next week, things are trending dry. Notice what happens with our highs once we head towards Friday. We sit into the upper 70s and low 80s for highs and that is where we look to stay through most of next week. Uh, looks good. Thanks Tawana. We told you yesterday about some changes coming to the popular app Snapchat. Now messaging app called WhatsApp is going to see some changes as well. The platform says it will soon allow users to prevent some people from knowing when they're checking messages and also leave groups without letting others know that you left. WhatsApp is owned by Facebook's parent company Meta. They say the changes are made to improve privacy privacy. Last year, some of WhatsApp users were concerned about a policy that said information is shared with Facebook, which has had data related privacy problems in the past. Officials say the new changes will be available within the next few weeks. Hardin County students also going back to the classroom today and we met with some students at one high school showing off what they're doing there that will help feed Kentuckians in need. We'll bring you this story next. Here's a look at the current Kentucky Lottery jackpots. The Kentucky Lottery, over $4 billion in grants and scholarships. You can't let anyone force you into being silent. Scamming people over and over and over. It's unfair. We uncover the truth. The troubleshooters investigate on WAVE. When it's time to replace your heating and air system, we know people want options. That's why you'll always get a free second opinion with BJ Heating and Cooling. Plus, for a limited time, get 0% financing for 60 months on a new Bryant system. Call the experts you can trust at BJ Heating and Cooling. I've always had an interest in camping. It's a, a lifestyle that's very relaxing. Since we are a family owned and operated, we want everyone to feel that relationship and feel very warm and invited. We can make your RV dreams a reality and affordable. We have nice youth product and we have everything from folding campers to diesel pushers. Being a local dealership, we understand the needs of our local community. Unlike a lot of the big chain organizations, we're strictly looking at making memories and friendships. To the four-legged friend that helped raise your kids, thank you for being there. We'll remember you. Proudly preserving your pet's legacy. Visit BoardandPetCremation.com. We're here and we care. America, home of the free. Free is our favorite word. Oh. 
like free refills. We get it. That's why at Morgan & Morgan, our fee is free. That means you don't pay anything unless we win your case. Injured? Call Morgan & Morgan. For the people.com. It's free! Living with metastatic breast cancer means being relentless because every day matters. And having more of them is possible with Fresenio, the only one of its kind proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with fulvestrant, regardless of menopause status. Fresenio plus fulvestrant is for HR positive, HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an anti-diarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Fresenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach pain, and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate or if you are nursing pregnant or plan to be every day matters and i want more of them ask your doctor about every day for Zenio. when i was diagnosed with cancer every minute counted but one call was all it took to get in right away and start treatment within a week one call is all it took for me to get a team of doctors all in one location to help me with my cancer diagnosis. My doctors used genomic testing to identify a targeted therapy to treat my cancer. One call is all it took to get the care I needed. Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Call now. Flood recovery and relief efforts continue in eastern Kentucky nearly two weeks after people woke up to devastation there. Governor Andy Bashir says the death toll is up to 38 after the death of that teenager who helped with recovery efforts. State police are still looking for two women in Breathitt County. Nancy Cundiff's father and sister say they were separated when their home broke apart. Cundiff's mother died in the flooding. The family is trying to stay positive, praying Nancy's okay. And troopers are also looking for Vanessa Baker. Of the people killed in the floods, 18 were from Knott County. Many who survived returned to their property to find nothing left, and now they're turning to the community for help to rebuild their lives. Senator Mitch McConnell toured the flood-damaged area yesterday, including the Knott County Sportsplex. That's become a hub of resources. They have FEMA assistance there. Food, clothes, cleaning supplies people can pick up. He also talked about the tornadoes that ripped through western Kentucky in December, but said the widespread damage in the mountains of eastern Kentucky is incomparable. McConnell says the state has never been in a better position financially though to tackle a crisis like this. And Senator Rand Paul also toured parts of eastern Kentucky yesterday, meeting with county leaders, first responders, and volunteers helping with recovery efforts. Paul says he has members of his team in flooded areas helping flood victims apply for FEMA assistance and recover lost or damaged documents, things like Social Security cards and medical records. He says he will send a letter to President Joe Biden and Governor Andy Bashir, asking them to allow COVID relief money to be used during disasters so communities can use that to start rebuilding. Students at one Hardin County High School are working on some new agricultural developments ahead of the return to school. They, they're using this as an opportunity to help people in need also in Kentucky. This is all thanks to a federal grant. John Hardin High School's AG department is getting even greener. Students are learning aquaponics, hydroponics, and aquaculture. They're producing 200 pounds of tilapia every six months, giving that to a local food bank. And on top of that, every four weeks, they're growing 90 pounds of lettuce that is bought from them by the school district and then provided to the students at different schools. The new grant from the USDA will allow them to increase production and even expand the curriculum. One of the predictions we're learning in class is by 2050 we will run out of food because of the population is growing. So we are using this to teach kids that, you know, this can help solve a lot of that. The students say they also plan to help the flood victims in eastern Kentucky sending some of their food there. That is so impressive. Mm -hmm. I certainly didn't have that <laughs> at my high school. I, I did not. We learned how to make rockets and build houses. <laughs> That's impressive. 
Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. Not compared to that. I think oh. that is way more impressive. Making your own food and helping your community while you're still in high school. I love that. Absolutely love that idea. For those of you heading out this morning, we are talking about plenty of clouds overhead to start the day. So you can see some peaks of sunshine here and there. Temperatures, by the way, sitting into the low 70s. So it is a warm start to the day for that first day of school for so many students. The ride in looking mainly dry with those temperatures still into the low 70s. We'll climb into the upper 70s by lunchtime as we start to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms popping. Then even more of those thunderstorms expected for the ride home. So parents, heads up. The kids are going to need that rain gear later on today. And by the way, I know the hair is a big deal for today. It might be a little bit frizzy because of that humidity in the air. So maybe just put a little bit of extra hairspray and you should be okay. Looking toward, the, toward tomorrow and your Friday drier. And once we get towards Friday, cooler weather coming our way. By the time we get into the weekend, we could be seeing lows into the 50s across the region. Wow. Can't believe it. Okay, well, this is exciting news. My Morning Jacket is set to make their long awaited hometown return with a show at the KFC Yum Center. The band will perform Saturday. It's October 29th. This is their first hometown live date in six years. They were scheduled to play two shows back in June at the Iroquois Amphitheater and then Waterfront Park, but had to cancel after one of the members tested positive for COVID. They're calling this show the Halloween Costume Ball and Celebration tickets. Let's go on sale this Friday at 10 a.m. and a portion of the proceeds will benefit change today, change tomorrow. The Lumineers are coming to the KFC Yum Center at the end of the month, and Wave Sunrise wants to send you and three friends to that show. Stay tuned this week for your chance to win four tickets to this August 31st concert. We'll be right back. We were watching Kevin on TV. We knew that there were some severe thunderstorms headed our way. That's why we track storms. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Harnett and the Wave Storm Tracking Team. Don't pay more than you have to. We will not be undersold on our huge selection of appliances. That's the bargain supply guarantee. The best selection of GE washers and dryers, refrigerators, stoves, dishwashers, and more. Bargain prices every day at Bargain Supply. If your air conditioner seems to be running all the time and never gets cool, now is the time to replace it. CNL Heating and Air is ready to save you money. Now through Wednesday, get a new air conditioning system for only $29.50. Huge savings from CNL. Call me on my cell or go online today. Menards is your one-stop shop for everything you need. Plus, get 11% off. Get truckloads of savings on items you need and use every day for everyone. We have it all from big to small and everything in between. Save on your favorite cleaning supplies from Procter & Gamble. They deliver quality products from brands you can trust, like Dawn, Tide, and Bounty. Stock up on Procter & Gamble products and get 11% off everything now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. I'm attorney Jim Desmond, and while I may advertise on TV, no one accuses me of peddling nonsense. When handling a motorcycle wreck, trust is important. That's why you deal directly with me from the first phone call to the end of the case. You deserve a second opinion from an experienced attorney. Call or text me today. Regular pruning is essential to promote your tree's health, reduce risk, and create a beautiful landscape. Monster Tree Service has certified arborists that are passionate about the overall health and safety of your trees. No job is too big or too small. We are a family-owned business. We are fully insured, and we love happy, healthy trees. Monster Tree Service is here 24-7 for emergency tree service. We are fully insured. We offer free estimates, and there are never any hidden fees. Call Monster today. A new Chevy is the smart way to hit the open road this summer, the smart way to road trip and seek new adventures. Go a little farther this summer in a new Chevy. Find new get up and go, find new roads. Enjoy the open road and make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2022 Equinox models. Plus, get 0% financing when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Oh, the kids? At your parents. I ate an hour ago because you completely forgot about the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress. We're celebrating 50 years of Furniture Row, so everything is on sale. That means 50 bucks off every Buena Vista, Summit, and Doctor's Choice Original. Or purchase any Tempur-Pedic and get a $300 gift. Score two Doctor's Choice pillows for only 50 bucks. 
plus 50 months no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended anniversary sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. Don't pay more than you have to. Bargain basement prices on our huge selection of appliances. We won't be undersold. That's the bargain supply guarantee. The best selection of GE washers and dryers, refrigerators, stoves, dishwashers, and more. Bargain prices every day at Bargain Supply. It's an exciting first day of school here for JCPS students and parents. And it's a whole lot of stuff to talk about, including some new facilities. I'm Josh Sneaky. I'll talk all about that here in just a few minutes. But first, got team coverage with Olivia Russell. And we're live at North Bullet High School, where about 1,100 students will be here in just about an hour. I've heard it gets pretty crazy in the morning, so we're looking forward to it. Plenty of live coverage all morning on Wave News Sunrise. This is Wave News Sunrise. Good morning to you. Yes, it is. It is back <laughs> to school. It is Wednesday, August 10th. A lot of kids heading back. I'm Shannon Kogan, alongside meteorologist Tawana Andrew and Kathleen Ninke. Mm -hmm. He's going to let us know about the traffic this morning. Back to school jitters, I'm sure, for some kids. I know. So many kids ready. So many parents and teachers and staff members ready for today. So, hey, let's just jump straight into the forecast for today and see how things look. How's that? We're going to be watching for some showers and thunderstorms for the ride home. So, heads up on that right now. Parents, find their rain jackets, find their umbrellas, stuff in the backpacks now because you're going to need it later on today. But for lunch, that is when we'll start to see a couple of those isolated downpours really trying to pop. We're talking that's when we'll start to see some of the heavy rain coming our way. But that ride in still looking pretty good just with some clouds overhead. So hopefully things stay that way. Remember the radar quiet across the region for this morning. I cannot rule out a stray shower for the early morning hours, but overall things are looking dry to start the day with those rain chances increasing. Notice as we get towards one, two, three, four o'clock this afternoon. And of course, that's going to be when a lot of those kids are on the buses and trying to head home. So that's something we'll watch closely, especially with the flash flooding threat. The flood watch still remains in effect for those of you to the east of 65 until midnight tonight. So we'll have to keep an eye on the afternoon traffic for sure, Kathleen. But this morning, how are things looking? Uh, things are looking incredibly clear at this hour. Of course, it is what 533 this morning, so we don't expect a lot of cars on the road. And that's what we're seeing all this morning. We're going to keep an eye not only on the metro, but on the full area because we know we've got those Bullock County kids going back to school, some other folks going back to school. Our Kentucky traffic cameras show a very few headlights on the road, maybe, you know, one over there, but certainly no backups at this point. Again, we'll keep an eye as we get closer to their start times. Same for Indiana. Roads looking clear, specifically in the metro. Few more cars on the road, but no backups just yet. So stick with us. We want to make this back to school Wednesday as smooth as we possibly can, Shannon. Ah, yes. Let's hope it continues. So it is time to get started for the first day of school. The largest school system in the state goes back this morning, JCPS. We have news reporter Josh Nicky joining us live with more on JCPS's first day, Josh. Hey, Shannon, a lot of folks very excited for today, as you can imagine. Uh, today also includes some things new for JCPS. Got Carolyn Callahan here joining us. Uh, so, Carolyn, uh, you got some new facilities opening up today, right? We do. Indian Trail Elementary School, that's welcoming students for the first time. Uh, we are so excited to open up that beautiful new building. We know that it's going to be uh, so exciting for the kids and the teachers to get in there. This is a huge deal to have a new school opening here in JCPS. And then in a few weeks, we'll be opening the new Wilkerson Elementary School. So that's going to be exciting, too. So it is a great day. Uh, you, you were telling me that you had a chance to see uh, Watson, which is taking those students from Wilkerson that are going to be going there. Uh, how, how ready are they for today? They are so ready. They did a phenomenal job. They started moving in there on Thursday. So they have not even had a full week. And the teachers and staff there, they have everything decorated. I mean, they made that school home for these kids for the few weeks that they're going to be there. So I know that these kids, if you're going to be going to Watson Lane today, I got a sneak peek yesterday, and it looks fantastic. And the teachers are so excited to welcome
welcome the kids. And something I didn't realize is that every student goes home with uh, a Chromebook. Can you talk a little bit more about the, the technology these kids get to use? Absolutely. So our students get Chromebooks that they can use. It's a real, uh, we have great connectivity. And so by the end of next year, too, every student will have a hotspot on there. So they'll be able to access the Internet wherever they are. So that means they can be doing schoolwork on the bus. They can do it at home if they don't have access to the Internet at home. We're providing that for them. So it really makes things equitable, and we want kids to be able to learn wherever they are and whatever their situation is. Yeah, that technology is super helpful, no matter what student you are. Uh, Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Thank you. Have a great first day, kids. Have a great first day. Sending it back to you, Shannon. All right, Josh. Thanks. And some changes for the biggest district this year. Some students at nine schools will once again be required to pay for a school lunch. Last year, a federal waiver allowed all students to get free meals, regardless of family income. 72% of JCPS students are eligible for free or reduced lunch. We're working very closely with our staff and with principals to ensure households complete that free and reduced meal application, and we certify as many of those kids as possible. JCPS also says supply chain issues are expected to continue, requiring school cafeterias to substitute for some items that are on the weekly menu. The district will also get some new technology this year. JCPS completed installation of interactive flat panels in every classroom last year. Every student will have access to a device that can help with schoolwork, as you just heard from Josh. Nearly 50,000 of those devices also include data plans that helps with those who may not have access to the internet. An additional 25,000 devices will have data plans soon. Now to Shepherdsville, where Bullitt County schools are also back today. We have news reporter Olivia Russell joining us live outside of North Bullitt High School, where pretty soon a lot of kids will be arriving, Olivia. Yes, yeah, Shannon, about 1,100 kids, and we're actually standing right in the carpool lane where cars will be just driving through here. We're told in about an hour, and as we're hanging out this morning, I ran into Missy Speakman. She's a counselor here yes. at North Bullet High School. Are you ready for this new school year? I am ready. Today <laughs> will be a day that will keep me on my toes, but I'm 100% ready to go. I think our students are ready to go. There's a new energy in our building, and we're just excited to welcome the students back to what feels like a normal school year. <laughs> new energy, I mean, new leadership at this school and COVID guidelines really relaxed for the first time yeah. in a couple years. Yeah, so I do think that that's gonna bring our students to a new um, excitement when they walk in is that there's not really guidelines going on. We have new le leadership and there's just a positive feel. So I'm very excited about to see what our students do this year and looking forward to working with them. And what are you most looking forward to? So I'm a new, um, not a new counselor, but I am in a new role with 11th and 12th graders and I'm just excited to help them plan for their future and get this year started off right. And uh, what should they expect this school year to? Anything new other than that leadership? or? I just don't feel like there's it. just roll with it. I don't <laughs> feel like there's much new going on in our building except that the energy and maybe expectations uh, may be a little bit different for our students, but we are ready for them and get the year started off right. I love that. So much excitement. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much. Absolutely. Like I said, we just kind of bumped into her this morning. She's here early, <laughs> ready to get the day started yep. and get the school year started. So thank you so thank much. You. Morning live at North Bullet High School, Olivia Russell, Wave News. Olivia, thanks. And not only are K through 12 kids returning to school, college students will be hitting the book soon too. The fall semester at U of L begins in less than two weeks. Monday, August 22nd is the first day of the fall semester. Today is the last day of the last summer session, so some students will be wrapping up just before they begin again. Now, as far as the ongoing COVID pandemic, the university is following state and federal safety guidelines. The CDC strongly recommends red level areas to mask up indoors. At this time, there have been no changes to current guidelines, but they are recommending wearing masks indoors. Bellarmine starts back a little bit later. That's August 25th. The university recently reinstated their mask mandate that will remain in place until current COVID rates in the county decrease. Masks are required in classrooms, meeting rooms, and other places where social distancing can be difficult. Bellarmine University requires all students, faculty, and staff to be fully vaccinated. They're requiring the booster vaccine for anyone eligible to get it unless someone is previously approved for an exemption.
And if you are a fan of the blue, the University of Kentucky starts Monday, August 22nd as well. Staff say that they're welcoming their biggest incoming class this fall. Some have already moved into their dorms, but others won't be moving into their permanent rooms right away. With nearly 7,900 student housing applications completed, they still only have 7,800 beds. By the start of the school year, the University of Kentucky expects all of their students to have a room. And maybe you are looking to give back and start the year on a good note. Well, the Beyond Van Gogh exhibit is helping JCPS students prepare for the start of school. They're hosting an art supplies drive to support local teachers. This drive is happening right now through September 3rd. They're looking for anything from pencils to watercolor sets, yarn, Sharpie markers, and more. People who bring a collection of new art supplies to the exhibit at the Kentucky International Convention Center will also to get one free ticket with a paid admission. And don't you love the first day back to school? You take that picture, the back to school picture. Well, we want to see them. Kathleen Ninke is joining us right now. Okay, how do we submit these photos? It is incredibly easy, and that's why I'm going to be showing you how to do it. We want to see every single first day of school picture today. Check out this video. I took this on my phone showing you how to do it. So look at your screen. When you open up your Wave News app, scroll down, and on the right, you'll see an icon, Submit Your Photos. Click that, then add your media. Go ahead and send it to the Good News section, because it is certainly that. You upload. You choose from your library. Yes, that is my own second grade school photo, quite the hair cut then add a little description so we know who to shout out follow the prompts and you could see your child's photo right here on wave it'll show up on this screen for me and i will be able to show you right here on wave news sunrise if you're fast enough this morning otherwise we can show it all this week send things over to tawana <laughs> i did share my picture from kindergarten and i was like i'm basically the same height i have not gotten any taller but for those of you heading out this morning while it's quiet across the region over the next 12 hours here's what we're looking at some more of those showers and thunderstorms rolling in for the second half of the day so we're talking once we get past noon that is when we'll see more of those showers and thunderstorms really blossoming across the area and they can produce some pretty heavy rain at that i'll let you know who's more likely to see some of that heavy rain after the break Federal health officials are working to make sure the vaccine for monkeypox continues to make it to the community seeing the biggest outbreaks. But the problem, supply, not keeping up with demand. Coming up, what the government is doing about that. It's back to school. And we're up before they get to the bus stop. Before you wait in the drop-off line. Getting you up to the minute. The minute you're up. When it's time to replace your heating and air system, we know people want options. That's why you'll always get a free second opinion with BJ Heating and Cooling. Plus, for a limited time, get up to $750 off a new Bryant system. Call the experts you can trust at BJ Heating and Cooling. Getting ready for that last-minute vacation or back to school? It's August. I'm Tim Jones back for Toyota of Louisville, and we got some great deals for you. New or used, new cars are arriving daily. Make sure you reserve yours now. Pre-owned vehicles, good selection on the lot, and we have over 30 financial resources to make sure you get the absolute lowest monthly payment. So get ready for some fun. Come see us on Dixie Highway seven days a week or toyotavlouisville.com, a Swope dealership where nobody walks away. Some clients say they're not the type of person who sues, but many of our cases are settled without having to sue anyone. In almost all of our car crash cases, insurance companies are responsible for paying the claim, not the person who hit you. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. Home delivery is awesome. Now you can have chiropractic care for your auto accident injuries delivered too. Dr. Black comes to you at the location of your choice. Available evenings and weekends. Contact Chiropractor to you for a complimentary consultation. Find that perfect gift for any occasion at Little Mount Lavender in Simpsonville. We use our local farm-grown lavender in over a thousand products. Plus, you'll find unique gifts from other local artisans. Treat yourself and family and friends well today at Little Mount Lavender. To the four-legged friend that walked through life with you, thank you for being there. We'll remember you. Proudly preserving your pet's legacy. Visit BoardandPetCremation.com. We're here and we care. Have slow drains. Is your toilet gurgling? These could be signs of a broken pipe, root intrusion, or an aging sewer system. 
Don't wait until your home is damaged. Call Vessels Plumbing, Louisville's most experienced sewer repair company, and get a free estimate. Mention this ad and get $100 off our drain camera inspection. And if your sewer needs to be repaired, we can do it in one day without digging up your basement or lawn. Call Vessels Plumbing today for your free estimate. Meteorologist Tawana Andrew, tracking storms weekday mornings on Sunrise. It is now 544. The Biden administration is working on a plan to stretch the limited supply of monkeypox vaccine doses. Experts say they could change how the vaccine is given out, which would mean more doses, but that may not be easy. The plan would allow providers to use one fifth as much per dose as currently recommended. The move comes less than a week after the administration declared monkeypox a public health emergency. So far, the U.S. has shipped more than 600. 17,000 monkeypox vaccines. So far, nearly 9,000 confirmed cases of monkeypox have been reported across the country. 11 cases have been confirmed in Kentucky. 77 cases have been confirmed in Indiana. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron is joining 22 other states working to block a CDC mask mandate from being reinstated. The 23 attorneys general filed a brief in federal court to support a district court's ruling that ended the Biden administration's requirement to wear masks at airports, train stations, and other transportation hubs. The attorneys general argue the district court correctly ended the CDC's mandate, saying it goes against laws and goes beyond what the agency can enforce. Heading out the door, here is Tawana. And things are looking good so far to start off the day, but I just want to remind everyone, we have that flood watch still in place for those of you further to the east of 65. This now lasts until midnight tonight. That's because of more of the heavy rain that will be moving through later on today. And those spots, you, the ground is so saturated, any heavy rain could lead to some localized flooding issues. Our SkyTrack camera shows some of the low clouds showing up over the city of Louisville. And that is it to start the day. Keep those clouds overhead. No rain in the region right now, but there's a little bit of a shower trying to pop up off towards our southwest, so I'll watch that one closely. The reason that we still have rain in the forecast for today, this stationary front that is sitting directly over us just to the north of the Ohio River, and because it's located in that spot, for those of you in Kentucky, you see a better chance for rain today compared to your friends and family for the, to the north in southern Indiana. So what we're going to see for your Wednesday, a couple of isolated downpours possible for the early morning, but most of us will be dry. As we approach 11 o'clock and noon today, that is when we could start to see some of these isolated showers and thunderstorms starting to fire up in some spots. They become a bit more widespread through the afternoon hours. So as we're approaching 4 o'clock, Notice starting to see more of those showers and thunderstorms on the radar. Even more expected as we approach 6, 7 o'clock this evening. And once we get closer to 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock tonight, the rain will start to move to the south as the front also pushes to the south. We'll stay on the drier side once we roll into your Thursday morning. So some of you may see a decent amount of rain for today, while others see nothing at all. And that's why it's so important to keep an eye on the way weather app for today. But in terms of the high side of those rainfall totals, some of you can see close to one to two inches of rain, depending on whether or not you see heavy rain multiple times through the afternoon and evening. Drier for your Thursday, but warmer before that secondary front moves in early Friday morning. Now we can see a stray shower or two with it, but overall things are going to be on the dry side. It's just about that big change in our temperatures towards the weekend. The cooler air takes over highs only into the upper 70s and low 80s, and that's going to be it for your Friday and Saturday. Rain tries to show up on Sunday. Day. The question is, where will this system go? Could it go a little bit further to the east and keep us on the drier side, or will it move right over wave country? That's still a big question mark in the forecast for Sunday and something we are watching closely. Even more of those showers and thunderstorms showing up by Monday of next week.
All right, Tawana, thanks. This is fun. The Homies third annual celebrity kickball tournament is happening tonight. The competition begins at 6 at Jim Patterson Stadium. It is hosted by Louisville rap group The Homies. It'll feature Jack Harlow, former U of L and UK players, Louisville City and Racing Loop players, and more. And our own Kendra Caskins will be the celebrity umpire at the event. You can buy your tickets on Ticketmaster.com. Money raised from the event will go toward Amped and Norton Children's Hospital. It is back to school and Chipotle giving hardworking teachers a sweet new deal. Jane King will have details coming up in a live report from New York. Watch Wave News Sunrise. It's morning news that's keeping up with you. Up to helping you plan for the rain and the sun. Sunrise, getting you up to the minute, the minute you're up. When your heating and air system goes out, it's an emergency. At Absolute Services, we know that. That's why we offer service within 24 hours. Now through Wednesday, take $2,000 off for a high-efficiency system that will save you money. Call Absolute Services today. One of the things I'm most proud of is that other lawyers ask my firm to represent their family members in personal injury cases. If other lawyers can trust their family with Thomas Law Offices, so can you. If you've been injured, call locally owned Thomas Law Offices today. Are you searching for a bank that makes you feel at home? At Town & Country Bank & Trust, we've been making Central Kentucky feel at home since 1907. We pride ourselves in having the products and services to meet all your financial needs. Come visit us at one of our banking center locations today. We can't wait to meet you. To us, you're more than just a customer. You're family. Town & Country Bank & Trust. Welcome home. Don't wait. Start saving now and replace those old drafty windows. Windows Plus is installing beautiful top quality windows with 60% off installation plus easy financing. Call your locally owned, highly trusted pink team at Windows Plus today. Yo, watch it, dog. This is your idea of a pool party? We need to up our game. Hey, look. Hi, I'm Chris Redmond. This beautiful pool was installed by Tracy, Angela, and the great team at Davenport Extreme Pools and Spas. And we can build your pool year-round and can start your backyard oasis in as little as 12 weeks with no hidden costs. Stop dreaming. Start swimming. Go to DavenportExtremePools.com. There's a lot to get up to in the mornings. And you need a team up with you. Up to helping you plan for the rain and the shine. We've got witness video. Breaking the news that's happening now. Seeing your eyes and ears around your neighborhood. If it's happening now, it's happening here. It's morning news that's keeping up with you. Sunrise with Shannon, Tawana, Kathleen, Josh, and Olivia. Getting you up to the minute, the minute you're up. Weekday mornings on Wave News Sunrise. If your air conditioner seems to be running all the time and never gets cool, now is the time to replace it. CNL Heating and Air is ready to save you money. Now through Wednesday, get a new air conditioning system for only $29.50. Huge savings from CNL. Call me on my cell or go online today. At Cancer Treatment Centers of America, we make every second count with a team of cancer specialists who are pioneering techniques like cryoablation to shrink tumors. Because cancer isn't just what we do, it's all we do. Call now. Your money on Wave News is sponsored by First Savings Financial Group. This is kind of crazy. France is facing a mustard shortage. France is the world's largest consumer of mustard, and its relationship with the condiment stretches back to the Middle Ages. One reason for the shortage now is climate change. Most of the seeds used to make French mustard come from Canada, where the government says grown dry conditions impacted the growth. As a result, Canada exported 80% less seed in 2021 than it did in 2020. Coca-Cola unveils a new packaging system to replace the plastic ring holders on multi-packs, the first of its kind. Keel Clip. It's a paperboard packaging system and it was unveiled yesterday. The sustainable packaging system for cans has been successfully tested in Europe and it's estimated that the paperboard packaging, which eliminates the need for plastic rings and shrink wrap, saved 1,500 tons of plastic in 2021. Affordable dining making a comeback even among people who usually pick fine dining. This is according to the company that owns both Applebee's and IHOP. 
Dine Brand says it's seen a bump in sales from households earning over $75,000 per year. At the same time, sales have dipped among households earning under $50,000 annually. Dine Brand CEO suggested guests who often dine at more expensive restaurants are turning to Applebee's and IHOP because it's cheaper. Both restaurant chains have raised menu prices, though, this year. Most people say they could easily hack their partner's passwords. And the Big Ten may be breaking up with ESPN. Here's Jane King this morning at the NASDAQ with those stories and more. Good morning, Jane. Hi, Shannon. Good morning. Well, the Big Ten close to finalizing a new media rights agreement that will add CBS and NBC to the league's lineup while ending a longtime partnership with ESPN. Now, Fox will remain the Big Ten's main media partner and had representatives attend the negotiations over the past few months. According to Sports Business Journal, ESPN rejected the Big Ten's final offer of a seven-year, $380 million agreement, which would have included rights to fewer marquee games than the network's current agreement. Well, one Poll and Prove teamed up to survey 2,000 people about their passwords and found the average person thinks they can get into their significant other's phone in just five attempts. Now, respondents themselves said they had four go-to passwords, with 31% admitting the codes are actually just different variations of the same thing with additional punctuation or numbers. Well, home builders are stuck with too many houses as buyers are pulling back. The industry now faces a glut. The wait lists for new homes are gone as well. And Chipotle Mexican Grill giving teachers in the U.S. a chance of scoring a free burrito this month as the company aims to recognize educators before the start of the school year. The restaurant chain announced it anticipates it will give away more than a million dollars worth of free burritos to teachers. Now, teachers who receive the burrito will be pulled from a nomination pool, which will be collected from Chipotle fans, including students, parents, family members, and friends. And stocks yesterday were down. Investigators navigated a batch of disappointing company earnings ahead of a key inflation report this morning. It's been a rough week for computer chip companies as well, and today we are looking slightly higher. Live from the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King for Wave News. Thank you, Jane. Here's what we're looking at over the next 12 hours. An isolated downpour or two possible for this morning. Most of us will be dry. As we get into the afternoon, highs climbing into the low 80s in most spots. We'll watch for rain chances really ramping up once we get past lunchtime and staying on the high side right around that evening commute and when a lot of kids are heading home and so heads up on that once we get into tonight early tomorrow that is when drier weather will return to the forecast tawana thanks do you hear it alarm clocks going off everywhere kentucky students going back to school this morning in many places we are bringing you full team coverage this morning as wave news sunrise continues Closed captioning on WAVE is brought to you by Cumberland Valley National.